Did you do some sort of in-depth interview on Redheads the other day on Facebook Live? <laughs> yes, with my friend and, Amy. And what did you guys conclude? That they have fiery tempers. Okay. That... Wait, wait, hold on. No, that's not red. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to anchor with me today, or what? These right here, all my uh, my childhood memories. Yeah, I was gonna say you really like it's all in here, so it's really. This right here, my family. That's called La Salida. That's my family looking at Cuba for the last time. So that's me sitting in the food case here. This kitchen is taking a beating. Yeah. So. We used to cook everything out of here, so now I got a commissary kitchen that I just kind of bring stuff in here. But this, yeah, kitchen, yeah. this kitchen for the past 10 years is taking the biggest beating you could ever. He's being very humble, but look how nice this setup is. This is like, <laughs> he's telling him, you know. So basically, this is where all the magic happens. We're going to get you through the whole human process right here. One of the most popular sandwiches in the world. The mojo de ajo, which is olive oil and garlic. We're going to do a tablespoon and then we have the cumin we got the oregano black pepper and then salt to taste this wouldn't be mojo de ajo unless you put the bitter orange put the bitter orange there and we create our perfect marinade for the pork shoulder dig right into it let it sit for about 12 hours in the refrigerator we're gonna go right deep in there you see that we we'll oh, be yeah. rubbing it we're gonna go deep into it and we're gonna just go through the whole pernil we call it pernil you call it pork shoulder. We're gonna put it on the oven for an additional seven hours. So the process of the lechon, you're looking at about 24 hours to create this beautiful piece. And if you come over here, so we have the lechon right here cooking, we got two of them. So this is getting ready for tomorrow. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks so good. We got our bread right here, put a lot of butter, and hit it with the mustard. It's very important to have equal parts of mustard, because you want to be able to you want to be able to bite into the sandwich and get a tang tanginess of the mustard. You want to be able to have all the pickles. In my opinion, if you take a bite of a Cuban and you don't have the tanginess of the mustard and the tanginess of the pickle, you're not eating a Cuban sandwich. You're eating a one of these pretend Cuban sandwiches that everybody's making today. That's right. You're a big fat phony. But in 90 miles, we'll make the authentic one. So basically, that's what we have. We'll put the cheese. We put the lechon. Look at this. This is the beautiful lechon that we just finished making. Look at this thing. Put it right here. It took about 24 hours to create this tasting succulent pork. And then we put our ham right in there. Look at that beautiful sandwich. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The trick of the Cuban sandwich is what everybody loves. The Cuban sandwich because it's it needs to be toasted to perfection. Once we hit it with a knife, on top you're gonna hear that clack 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 like the conga sounding. So we're gonna put it in our panini grill. And we're gonna go in there and we're gonna let it sit for about five to seven minutes and that perfection is coming your way. <laughs> Unscripted. He just launched into that. <laughs> that was amazing. Alberto, man, jeez. Man, let's try it. Let's try it. That's a oh, And this is uh, Lourdes' favorite well, sandwich. It's favorite, right? It's a favorite sandwich. It's a croqueta preparada. I tell you what, I gotta take this out there and have it take a sip. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, oh, let's do it. Yeah. Well, well, make sure you keep an eye on this, okay? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> We got a little uh, sauce that we put on, and I tell you what, this is uh, in Miami. This is like one of the favorite sandwiches of all the Cubans in Miami. Really? It's my she, favorite sandwich. <laughs> she described it as being like a cheese stick, but with but ham. With ham. Exactly. Yes, so, that's exactly yeah, what it exactly. is, right? Everyone sees us on TV for only an hour and assumes we don't do squat the rest That's of the day. That's not true. Tell them about your day. Hi, Steve. I hear you. Oh, you want me to tell them about my day? Yes. Well, I woke up. Got no, 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 no. I don't need to know that. <laughs> I mean, your work got day. Got out of bed. You you hopped in the shower. Shower. Croqueta. <laughs> Hold on. Say it like you mean it, Lourdes. It's a croqueta. Like you would say, a croqueta preparada? 
Hey, I'm full, gr I'm full gringo. Hey, I'll take a croquet and some chips. Es croqueta preparada for her, croqueta yeah. preparada for him. Also, I just want to point out to our fans, what every cheese stick is missing, ham. I think we've all had, we've all had that same thought. Well, yeah. this is actually like a combination, because the sandwich has cheese in it. Cheese. Oh. Yeah, cheese. yeah. You gotta have both. You gotta have both. Okay, so do I take a bite? Yeah, I want to see this. They gotta see it. Oh, look always, at that. Always keep your hands and feet away while, while she's eating. He <laughs> see me eating. Yeah. Ben, Ben's backing up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you need a bit? Well, yeah. do you have one? He's <laughs> just got him, yeah. Yeah, here, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, All right here, here it go. is. Mm. Really? Right. Yeah. That is really good. Make me like two or three more and I'll take <laughs> yeah, home. What's the sauce? Tastes like uh, it, you know. It, 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 what we do is we we add a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, a little paprika, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's, it's a little bit mixture of the house. It's so, okay on yeah. ketchup combined. Combined with a little paprika. Did so you want to wait till you're done chewing to talk, Lourdes? <laughs> That's not rude. Want to take a bite? Yes, I'll let. All right, Ben's up. This one's mine, Ben. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. He had to do it. I'm pretty sure the whole premise of this show is wait till you get in the car. To no, eat. no, no, no. Not, not when it's not when Alberto hooks you up like this. You just gotta do it. Mmm. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> Do you know how much you're gonna need to be on the treadmill tomorrow? Just <laughs> one bite out. Ben's not stopping. Right. This is I'm insane. Oh. Insane. Oh. I have been to Cuba, and the food in Cuba was not this good. Oh, thank oh. You. Thank you. I mean seriously. Oh, wow, that's a good no, I, once you trace a Cuban sandwich, you're gonna want to be my partner in the 90 miles of Cuba. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'll tell my wife and three young children. <laughs> You're all coming with. Are you gonna try it? Do Lourdes, how do you, how do you pronounce this? Huh? Croqueta. Croqueta. No. Preparada. Preparada. That wasn't quite it, but we're gonna figure it out out there. No. What do you mean? Not that bad. Mean, not that bad. Okay, go. <laughs> Come on. It's unreal, right? Oh my god. I think this is better than the just the original Cuban sandwich. It's my favorite. I gotta get Corey. The ham sticks with cheese. I gotta get Corey. Maybe that could be the new show name. Ham sticks with cheese. Ham sticks with cheese. Oh. Ham sticks with cheese. Yeah. I gotta get Corey. Coming to give him birth to a Cuban. Oh my god, let me get Corey. Let me get Corey. You gotta try this. You can't not experience this. All right, so this has got to be Corey's initial on-camera try. So I just okay, it's the same thing, right? That croqueta sandwich. Croqueta, preparada. Croqueta, preparada. You gotta go memory. Yeah, Corey, wasn't that nice that you left? A, got a little bit of Lourdes's <laughs> leftovers there. Yeah, and mine. Too good. That's so good, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> We're talking too much here. No, yeah. oh, not, he's taking over. I, I tell I you what, I got it. I got it. You know but I gotta take a taste of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever had one of those before? Is that, <laughs> no? First time? Have you ever heard of them? No. <laughs> I hear they got a Cuban joint that's rocking it out. They're rocking it out. I'm checking it out. This is 90 Miles, Cuban Cafe. And you don't get any more authentic than Alberto Gonzalez. I left Cuba in 1980 and then Mario Bold left. Left your house, left everything. Thanks, sir. So that's pork shoulder. Let me tell you what's in it. So it's pork <laughs> shoulder. And every good Cuban sandwich needs to have really good that bite of mustard and pickle. Tanginess of the mustard and the tanginess of the pickle. My buddy Alberto told me that one time, oh, yeah. about yeah. five minutes ago <laughs> in the kitchen. That guy's on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. I, I hear he really knows what he's talking about, that Alberto. <laughs> he should open a restaurant. There are really two types of people who open up restaurants. The first kind are people who have a concept but need a location. Mm. How many of these do you have a day? That's what I'd like to know. I, I try to stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special occasion. Can so we name it the Lourdes? Come on. We're gonna do it. Can we move? And then make it the exactly. number six with cheese, but it's the Lourdes, but it's, it's a number six. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. We could just combine all of our yeah. all of our brands yeah. in one. It should be a number nine. <laughs> number six. We'll do the 90 turn flip. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing halfway. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is Lourdes, and then this is this is Ava, and we want to switch these. Oh god! No, no, no! This is a paella, the traditional. Uh, Spaniard dish, yeah. but uh, we do a Cuban style, which is, I know, the Cuban food is an influence of Spaniard and African food. So basically, it's a paella and flamenco night. It's a really good in the car food, too. Yeah. 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 You end up with it in your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So those are beef. So you dunk them right in there, you bite them, and you can see the skin coming out. I don't know, what do you think? Should we get empanadas, too, just to, just to have? You might as well, man. Yeah. Well. I feel like you're going to be angry if I turn it down. Right? Listen. Everything here, you gotta have. People tell me, what should I order from the menu? Go a little, one of each. Yeah, I mean, I don't really blame you for suggesting it. Those things look like heaven. Is that like a 
You guys ever had this? What is it? Well, what's it taste like? It's a soda. I mean, get the taste on camera. I want to see. Oh, good job, Ben. So if you want to put a little bit in. <laughs> Yeah, we, we got the problem is we've eaten everything there is to eat before we've even gotten in the car. See, that's the good thing is I've only I'm only one bite in, so I'm starving. So you yeah, guys, I'm ready screwed. to eat. Right. Yeah, that's really good. You no. like it? It's that's got awesome. a lot of calories too. Like <laughs> Iron beer? No, no, I'll, oh, wow. look, I'll look like this guy. You're gonna look like a human man. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is you, Ben. That, that is Ben. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna look right like Alberta. Yeah. Look at that. All right, all right, all right, man. All right, man. Calm down. That's your whey protein? That's my whey protein right there. <laughs> hey, Rory. Looking good. Thank you so awesome. much, just in general. It was, this is amazing. You You're too nice, man. You're too nice. This is great. All right, so if you guys ever come to 90 Miles, um, ask for Alberto. He's got a little bit of personality, not a ton. Um, so maybe ask for him by name if you'd like. Hey, have you noticed how Corey looks like Leo DiCaprio? Oh, yeah. He gets, what, who else you does get he get that? that? A lot? He gets Leo and. Uh, I don't even want to tell you my job. <laughs> uh oh. I, I've been told I look like that, but only in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like a Brillo pad. No, that is not. Good. That was another bummer. Ben, are you excited for this even though you've probably eaten it all already? I'm so stuffed. <laughs> we're not gonna hit a drive through, are we? Yeah, we're gonna go to Wendy's after oh, this. Oh, good. Cuban sandwiches acquired from 90 Miles, jump cut. So, what, you got one sandwich she gave us? Okay. okay. Are we and then, this? I think we we'll just kind of, yeah, I guess uh, we'll uh, cut. It's gonna be a tough four way split. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I thought he was doing uh, one each. I only need a half. Every Boy. dipping, oh, dipping yeah. sauce. Open all those fries. And, and put them right on top of your white pants. What else do you have in there? I could do I'm the empanadas if you guys want to do. Yeah, I'll do an empanada too. Do you wash your hands? <clears throat> oh, oh, that's that work. Hmm. Why don't we just one of us has a sandwich, one then one empanada, empanada, and I this really it's... is like a, a meal. We're, we're sharing. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's family yeah. style. When can I start eating it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. 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 Ninety miles. Cheers. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. You know why it's called ninety miles, right? Nine, Nine miles from Cuba. Nice. You learned <laughs> something today. Look at that. Yeah, I tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fries are really good. Do you guys want some? Mm. I'll try one. Yeah. I like these crisp, crispy seasoned ones. Is this yeah. the whole good show? Is this <laughs> eating and going, mmm, mmm. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. actually just one of those, what are those called? ASMR videos they call mm. it? It's just people like chewing and stuff. It's so weird. I can't believe that's a real thing. I can't mm. believe we consumed a thousand calories before we even started recording. <laughs> Well, we were recording. It just wasn't in a car yet. Yeah. So, Did you so work the out calorie, today? the calories don't count because we weren't in the car. Ah, mm. yeah. I see how it is. But Ben's been working out a lot. And according to this, I'll that, look like that. Iron, yeah. After consuming it, I also like how it has 168 calories. Um, <laughs> did you see? I looked at that earlier. Uh, and and, and uh, this can alone is 47 grams of carbohydrates, 16 percent of my daily allowance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were um, trying to lose weight. Lay off me, I'm starving! I think okay. Are you fat shaming me? I'm not, I would never do that. I think you're fat shaming but me. But I know you're really trying to get better at the workouts. <laughs> because you fat shame me. No! We're we... like an old married couple <laughs> sitting in our car yeah. eating just so it is. a little bit. So this married couple, if we haven't already said, mm -hmm. so Laura Suarte and Ben Bradley from the WGN Evening news from 4 to 5 p.m. That's yes. right, yeah. Weeknights at 4, count on Chicago's very own. Trusted Chicago anchors Ben Bradley and Lourdes Duarte with news. Meteorologist Demetrius Ivory with weather. And Jared Payton with sports. Watch WGN Evening News at 4, weeknights. Do you guys yeah. ever they have days off? Weekends yeah. off yeah. Oh, that was nice of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been working together as co-anchors for, what, a year and a half? Roughly yeah. now? About a little more than a year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are your fights normally about food? Yes, yeah. actually. Yes. Ironic. Yeah. It's usually it's about one in the afternoon, <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah. one of us will text the other one going, "Milkshake?" Question mark. <laughs> and then the person who says no gets in trouble. Right. Yeah. Oh wow. Because <laughs> you're being good. You're like me, is though like, you're a bad influence on me. <laughs> yes, I'll take chocolate. And yeah. And the deciding factors are producer Danielle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who likes shakes? Maybe more than we both do. And Danielle was pregnant and that was probably the best nine months. <laughs> because she was always casting the deciding yes vote for the milkshake. Oh, right, sure. yeah. right. So yeah. you never had to feel guilty because the numbers were there. You know, if, if right. enough people say yes, then yeah, the whole group the whole group gets together. Especially gets in the co-anchor situation, I assume, like, as long as we get fat together, <laughs> right? And nobody will nobody notice. Will notice. Right. You know, it's just, it's just when one person gets into shape, right? 
or gets out of shape. Then, then that throws off the balance. Although I did say to Ben, for as much as we eat, mm -hmm. he is the co-anchor that always has the best breath. Oh, wow. I know. What a superlative to have, you know? You know, because you're sitting next to someone all day long. Right. What if they have terrible breath? Well, that would be a... Them, yeah, you know? and that's something you can't really just tell people. It's very no. hard to break that to somebody. But he has never smelled, and he always has good breath. <laughs> and that, my friends, is what I learned in Probably journalism as well school. as I get to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mince and gum, always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, after eating this? I don't know, you're staying. How about now? <laughs> ben, that was a lot of compliments about you. Do you have any... Yes, Ben. About your coworker. Yes. So, Lourdes, let me begin by counting the ways you are great. I'm amazing. <laughs> yes. It's remarkable. One, you always tell me how great you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Very humble. Yeah. No, that's you not are. True. That's not true at all. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Guns home. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sesame Street's here. Awesome. I am looking in the soup, sir, and I do not see a fly. No, Lourdes is a great co anchor because she's wicked funny. Mm -hmm. Oh. Very smart. <laughs> Oh, stop. And doesn't no. take herself too seriously at all. That's true. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Do you see me? Do, do you only see my head? There's always kooky, crazy stuff happening around yeah. yeah. It's like the Adams Family. I, I went in for a handshake. He went in for a hug. Really? Yes. Was it awkward? <laughs> well, I was like, ah. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Yeah, I would love one. Do we have any napkins up there? Oh, there. I've just been using your pants. <laughs> <laughs> They're white. They're white. That'll look good. Mm -hmm. um, so, right. Lourdes, at uh, some point... I like this part of the show. At some point early <laughs> on, Lourdes and I were talking about probably eating. Yeah, probably. And I was like, I need to, I need to watch what I eat. And Lourdes looks at me with a total straight face and goes, well, you know, I've always been thin. <laughs> <laughs> To which, your, to which your, to which your, I was gonna say, to which your response was what? Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other great Lourdes quality is that she is keenly aware. What are you doing there? I just, I just spilled all over your seat. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's a part of the uh, process, yeah. you know. Uh -oh. Unlike a lot of people, Lourdes always admits her mistakes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Lourdes has a little problem with CHs. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. for sure. So, <clears throat> it all they all kind of come out the same. So today on the news, we had a story about Cher. She's, there's going to be a new Cher show in Chicago. <laughs> right. Oh. And it comes out, so Cher will be here. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's but just roasting why. her. English is my second language. Okay. I grew up speaking Spanish. Mm -hmm. I lived in Puerto Rico as a kid. Grew up there till I was 10. Right. And so my tongue, I can't, just can't do Oh, yeah. That, right? Yeah. So You're Cher, like, I'm trying, guys. And especially I know. when it's the C-H and the S-H together. So like Charlie Sheen, I have to really focus. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Cher And he the was Cher in the news for a, a lot for a while. Yeah. So it's, that was probably a rough year or two. Rough. I yeah. had headaches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not as many as he probably did, but you, you, you probably <laughs> had a few as well. You borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah. You know, English is not my first language. <laughs> so my name is Lourdes. Lourdes, yeah. But when I was in high school, and again, I've always been thin. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk more. No, let's go. Um, they used to call me. Are you ready? Oh, I'm is ready. Is your duck thing ready? It's, yes. Yeah. They used to call me. Lard ass. Lard ass. Okay. Yeah. Which, that? I mean. Do you think that was funny or no? <laughs> <laughs> when you're younger, any chance you have to make fun of somebody's name to rhyme to be swearing was automatically yeah. funny, funny when you're 12. Right. So hey, I'm sure up. it kills. I t still to this day, I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. 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 No? Okay. Try growing up Benji. Benji. That's what I was for the first 10 years of my life. Now, um, let me ask you this. We've been in this car for about 20 minutes. Should we have, pay should we have paid ROM for our parking? This point, <laughs> I looked we're, to see we're going if there on was like $30 in parking here. Absolutely antithetical to community policing. Here's the thing you don't know about me. I kind of told you, but I have a journalism degree from Michigan State. Okay. I traveled all over the country doing reporting, got out of it because the thing that made me enjoy journalism the most was news anchors okay. that the compilation videos of them being embarrassed on camera. Never quite recovered after that. There she goes. <laughs> Well, you all are just really tickled by that. <laughs> Was born without the use of his <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys have any good ones of those uh, that are public? Yeah. You know, we those make are... mistakes so much they stop saving them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was at Channel 7 with my previous TV wife. Who is amazing. Mm -hmm. She is great. Right. We were anchoring a weekend morning show, which means we're often doing it on three hours of sleep. Yeah. One morning, reading a 
a typical story about a bank robbery in the suburbs, and the FBI has released these surveillance images of the robber wearing a wolf mask. Okay. Cue the video, right. and I look down, and the guy was like full on Teen Wolf. This wasn't <laughs> like some, you know, $4 party. It wasn't at like HalloweenCostumes.com. Full on. <laughs> Well, right now, the search is on for an armed man who robbed a bank while wearing a wolf mask. This happened in DeKalb. These are surveillance photos from inside the Fifth Third Bank branch. New this morning, Northern Illinois University can resume work on its $27 million renovation of the Stevens Academic Building on the schools. This is Stacy's fault. He went for Stacy and I lost it so bad. Yeah. That it became viral. Oh, the last. That's what. I, that's in what I was wondering. Right. In, in journalism, yeah, you don't want. You don't want to be viral because they're generally not clicking on you because right. you told a great story. I won the race for the White House with her VP. I am so sorry, folks. I don't have a wolf mask. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the guy I'm robs sorry. a bank in a wolf mask. And <laughs> at five in the morning on three hours of sleep, we're gonna laugh at it. I'm sorry. It, it, the the crime itself is not funny. Okay, I, that's not where we're laughing. At. We're laughing at the mask. We're getting control here. We are going to pull ourselves together. Out of five inappropriately laughing newscasters, oh. how many inappropriately na laughing newscasters do you give the food from 90 miles here today? Lourdes, you're up first. Five being very inappropriate. Five being mm. stupidly good and inappropriate. I and would then give it a five. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, yeah. I can't imagine. And also, I saw Alberto Flex, and if you give it less than a five, I'm afraid <laughs> yeah. He'll what would happen. He would yeah. he would take your photo and put it even further down away from uh, Ava. Do so. you think he's gonna move it up? No, I think no. it's going down. <laughs> you know you're you know you're not in a prime spot in a restaurant when you're right below the health department. Listen, right? <laughs> I don't Just need saying. judgment from you. Hey, you have your your face. You don't even have your picture in there. Yeah, I was gonna say, Ben, and we definitely don't. I'll send him one. <laughs> Although I do feel like Al Alberto is like in the kitchen with the avocado, crushing the avocados with his bicep. All right, Ben, what's your score? I give it five out of five. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah. as I said to Alberto, I've been to Cuba. Mm -hmm. The food at 90 miles, better than anything I ate. That's crazy. Okay. Excellent. That was a five. Oh. So it was a very okay. good. I'm also, I'm going to give that Cuban sandwich a five. But not only is the food great in there, yeah. but the atmosphere is great. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's you amazing. kind of feel like you're down in Cuba. Do yeah. you? I, I don't, I, mean, I don't know, Ben. You'd have yeah, to tell Yeah, the music. Us. What yeah. did I teach you today? Well, who's the singer that I taught you today? Are you going to remember? <clears throat> she is the queen of salsa, Ben Bradley. Eva Mendez. No. <laughs> Eva Mendez. Who is that? Celia Cruz. It was the Celia. music Celia. that I was playing, remember? Mm. All right. Now, is it weird that there's just four of us sitting in a car with windows steamed up? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, it's weird. We talk, our, our fans like to go, it's weird that it's just a two you and it's all steamed up. Yeah. It's four of us, but we still see we got a little bit of uh, air coverage coming through here. Yeah, we'll yeah. leave this car sometimes, and it will look like, I mean, inappropriate. Like the bird, the yeah. bird duck noise would have to be used a lot. With what I could say. <laughs> if this Chevy Cruze is rocking, somebody's eating. <laughs> Someone's eating Cuba.